want to encourage you all to come down here to the river stage. Those of you that are walking by, this is going to be a great place to be. We've got uh, Roger Cooper, Michael Garvin right down here at the river stage. And you're going to get to hear some old time fiddling here. Roger's one of the, I was telling him up there, I think he's probably one of the best fiddlers of his generation. And, uh, and just a real treat to have back here at the Kentucky Folklife Festival. He's a great keeper of tradition, plays a lot of tunes that are that nobody else plays, nobody knows. As a, as a young kid, you learned from a lot of old-time fiddlers, didn't you, Roger? And uh, in this world, a lot of folks are playing bluegrass and playing uh, music the way they heard it off of albums. But Roger's learned playing music the way he learned it from the older generation and really is an important person in, uh, in Kentucky old-time music here. And uh, I'm not going to say too much more about this Lewis County fiddler and his apprentice here. Hopefully he'll talk a little bit about the tunes and the places where he learned them uh, as we go through here. But I give you Roger Cooper and Michael Garvin. Yeah, thank you, John. We do one called uh, uh, the Snake Winder. And I learned this tune from Buddy Thomas at home. And, uh, he got it from Morris Allen, the same old guy that had the Brian Picker Brown. Uh,
I used to be able to play that, but last time I, too, I tried it, I didn't do too good on it. <laughs> I can try it. That's that's one he played a lot, yeah. And uh, that tune was, uh, it must have been really popular a long time ago. And uh, they played in different parts of the country. Uh, some of them called it Arthur Burry. There's another name for that tune. Uh, George Lee Hawkins played it, called it Arthur Burry. And I don't know where he learned it at. Uh, but, uh, I'll see if I can play it anyway for you. it on my last record and I didn't do much better then than I did now. <laughs> kind of rough, but uh, I used to have it worked out pretty good, but then I didn't play it for a long time and I lost out, you know. You can't let them go too long. Uh, I'm going to play him another tune, Michael, and then it play We'll get Michael to pick you another thumb picking tune and then uh, we'll get him to play the fiddle some for you. What do you got for him, Michael? It's the, the mood. <laughs> yeah, we're windy and warm.
play some on the field for you. Yeah. I got me a pick, Tommy, so I'm going to be playing the guitar. What was that tune you played? Windy and Warm. Windy and Warm. I thought I read Chad Atkins, Doc yeah. Roberts. I just recently went through an apprenticeship with Roger Cooper, 2004 to 2005. It's over with now, but we're, we've become real good friends and I'm still, still learning from him. Here's another one from Lewis County area I learned from George Hawkins and Alfred Bailey recordings, and Roger helped me get through it too, called Whittington Drill. Have I done enough fiddling yet? <laughs> I don't have no watch. Eleven thirty. I need to have him. Have him. Like he picked up pretty soon. Okay. I got to be at another stage. Thanks. Pretty. Now practice the Haley thing. <laughs> okay, I also learned a lot from old recordings of Blind Ed Haley, who lived in Ashland, Kentucky, and died in the early 50s. And it's a miracle they even have any recordings of him, but learned some, learned some tunes from him. And I'm going to be in the Ed Haley Fiddle Contest uh, tomorrow, Saturday, September 17th up in Ashland and I'm looking forward to that this year. This is a thing called Cherry River Rag.
Yeah. Here's a tune called, um, it came from up in Greenup County, Kentucky, uh, an old gentleman named Morris Allen, and uh, he knew uh, several tunes that were real good tunes, nobody else had, I never heard of ever knew any of these tunes, but uh, a friend of mine, Buddy Thomas, he knew him real well, and he recorded some of them, and uh, but now this tune has got very popular. They play it all over, everywhere you go. You can play this tune now, but it came from Morris Allen in Greenup County. It's called, um, what's the name of that, Lina? Close to me, I may run together. Uh, the Briar Picker Brown. The Briar Picker Brown. <laughs> Another tune from up in that area called uh, learned this from Jimmy Wheeler. He's a instrument repairman up there all his life and a very good fiddle player. And uh, he learned this tune from his father. And his father died in uh, 
1920 something. And so I know it's a very old tune, and it's unheard of anywhere except up in that area. Hi, Jimmy. And uh, this is called the Pond Creek Polka. crookedest tune I know of. Uh, uh, it's called Rough and Ready. And uh, this tune come from uh, the Booker family down in Kentucky. Uh, they were in the, I don't know, in the 20s and late 1800s and uh, they were farm hands. And, uh, uh, so Doc Roberts learned a lot of tunes from these guys who were uh, African American uh, farm hands. You know, and, uh, and I learned uh, this from Jim Woodward, and he, he grew up on the, around them guys. And he made a violin player later, but when he was growing up, he learned to play a lot of these tunes. If I can get straightened out, long enough to have, uh, rough and ready.
very quick to turn off like in a gym. It's a nightmare, just about. It's a nightmare for me. Yeah. It is me, too. Uh, this tune about uh, Warfield is a place up in eastern Kentucky next to the West Virginia border on a big sandy. And uh, it's across the river from Naugatuck, West Virginia, right, Jimmy? And my mother's from Naugatuck and my grandma and both my grandmothers are from up there. And, uh, I almost was a West Virginian, but I escaped it. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's in the old days, uh, the guy that I learned this from, uh, he was up in there and worked for a while, and he learned this tune. And, uh, but some of the words, he knew he could sing it also. And he said uh, something about, uh, uh, come on, boys, let's go to Warfield. Naugatuck's done gone dry. They must have drank everything they had over there. And, Heading back to Warfield, I think, is what it was about. But.
to play a tune, Michael? Not sure. Put him to do a, a thumb pick. Like time a thumb pick. What are you going to do for him? Cannonball rag. The cannonball rag. That's a good one.